Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and yes, in today's episode, we step back in the time machine to the early days of Clash of Clans, take a look at some old gameplay on an old channel. And today, in the third of the Fail to Win series, we're going to talk about spells. Yes, this video is from May of 2014. Let's look at how much the gameplay has changed and how much of the strategies that I talked about nearly 10 years ago actually still apply. And the first tip for lightning spells I like to call, gotta zap them all. <laughs> and with that, I mean, make sure that you're aware of how many troops have come out of the clan castle during an attack. Okay, let's just realize that nobody uses lightning spells on clan castle troops anymore. The, the, this is not a thing. It, it was then though. And that takes us to our next tip. Don't zap the unzappable. Can you hear the absolute exasperation in young, okay, relatively younger Galadon's voice talking about players that use lightning spells on defensive heroes, on dragons, on golems. Yes, players always make dumb mistakes and that was one that was commonly made back in the early days of Clash. Also check out those epic blue walls at Town Hall 10. Now, this next point that I was trying to make, I called one shot, one kill. You never kill. know when that lightning spell might come in handy when you're at 49% overall damage and all of your troops are down. This was something that actually happened a lot. Back then, in the early days of Clash, the game was much, much harder. Most players brought at least one lightning spell and sometimes you could drop a lightning spell to get you from a fail to a win. Next, we moved on to the infamous Rage spell and what was actually another very common problem back in the early days of Clash of Clans where players thought two Rage were better than one. Don't stack Rage spells. Now, I know I've spoken about this before, the fact that the King's Rage does not stack with normal Rage, which is true. Which is true. I'm glad I pointed that out twice. And also, I know you're saying that doesn't sound like me, or does it? I don't know. Tell me in the comments, does this even sound like Galadon's voice? I know to me it's very awkward to hear. Hopefully uh, less annoying now than then. I, I don't know. Let's move on. Next up, Galadon's tips on the jump spell. This was almost brand new in Clash of Clans back then. And players were screwing this one up pretty badly. You say jump, they say eh. Meh. <laughs> I don't know, I have to laugh at myself. I, yeah, players would drop a jump spell thinking that the units would always use it. But, you know, it, it, was a, it was a pertinent tip nine years ago. Give me a break. Let's move on. Let's talk about the heal spell. Here's another one. And uh, heal spells and hog riders. And with that many units running around that need healing, it's important to remember to heal those units where it counts. Epic blue walls once again. And actually, this tip is probably the most pertinent to today's Clash of Clans. And that is... You, again, try to put the heal out in front of the units where they're pathing towards and when they're taking the most damage. Back then, of course, town halls didn't blow up. We didn't even have a Grand Warden, so that was really all you could do to try to protect those units was drop multiple heal spells in the core. Okay, get ready for some serious 2014 gala humor. That's right, a Segway is more than just a funny looking two wheel thing that tourists ride on. Let's talk about freeze spells. Ha ha ha. All right, take a moment to cringe and let's move on. Specifically with single targeting infernos. Sorry for mispronouncing single target interno, but okay, here we're talking about freeze spells. And this is again, another tip that completely applies to today. And that is be aware of the ramping up damage of a single target interno, right? But this was early clash and these things really made a big difference. Now the second stage, the beam gets thicker. Now it's starting to do a little bit of damage. Now this, is definitely when you want to have already frozen the Inferno. That is going to burn the heck out of that P.E.K.K.A. in just a couple of seconds. It burned the heck out of that P.E.K.K.A. It really is the heck out of the P.E.K.K.A. Anyway, okay, so there's, I think, one more tip in the video. I kind of compressed it a little bit. If you want to see the whole thing, I will link it here so you can see the original video. And believe it or not, this is the video that blew my channel up way back in 2015. I went from 7,000 subscribers in the first nine months of the channel to 10,000 in a day. 
Crazy times for sure. Never had any idea I would be doing this for a living. Oh wait, old Galadon. Just like with the rage spell, you need to account for that entire radius mm -hmm. of the spell and use it to your advantage. Right, okay, so freeze multiple structures. That would be the last tip. But anyway, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you guys so much. Again, never thought this would happen. Been doing this full time for almost 10 years now. And that's only made possible by you, the viewer. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And so does 2015 Galadon, who is going to take us out to the end of today's episode. Thank you, as always, for watching, subscribing, liking, and I appreciate all of the comments. Please feel free to leave suggestions for improvements and other tips on spells. I'd be happy to discuss it with you. And watch out tomorrow for another episode of Clash of Clans Attacks.